This morning, we are helping protect your home in the face of the storm. News for Jack's reporter Amanda DeVoe joins us live. And Amanda, you are looking at the different options for homeowners. I am looking at different options. So some people in bags nowadays are using silicone filled bags to kind of help prevent that flooding from happening. So I do want to bring in Matt Carlucci with Brightway Insurance. Talk to us a little bit about how to prevent your home from flooding so that you don't run into any issues with the insurance company, right? Yeah, right. absolutely. Yeah, so could you talk a little bit about what you have set up here? Because I know you mentioned that your, your garage can take in a lot of water yeah. if you're not careful. Yeah, so these are uh, bags filled with silicone, and as they get wet, the silicone absorbs the water, and they get bigger and bigger and bigger, and, um, and they prevent the water from going into my garage. Um, you know, the concern is when that happens, it could potentially go in my, you know, my door there. I also have drywall in my garage, and if that gets wet, you know, it doesn't dry very quickly. And when the sun comes out, it can turn into mold, um, and mold can be very expensive to, uh, to repair. Right, right. And so what you have set up here is the, the um, silicone filled bags are kind of stacked kind of pretty closely together to That's make right. sure that you're not taking in the water, right? That's right. So I don't stack them on top of each other because the concern is that one could fall off. Um, so we stagger them to make the barrier as thick as we can. And of course, as they get wet, they get bigger. Um, and, uh, and they prevent the water from coming in. Uh, the water does not go underneath them because as they get bigger, they get heavier uh, and they also get taller. Right, right. And that's very important to note. So for some people who don't have the silicone filled bags, there are also the sandbags. That's kicking it old school for a lot of people. Yeah. So what's some advice on how to stack the sandbags because it's a little different. Yeah, I would stagger them uh, first of all. Uh, be very careful not to put too many on top of each other because you don't want them to fall. Um, also, you know, just uh, don't break your back doing it because if you do, then you won't be able to finish the job. Uh, but you really want to stagger them and try to really make that barrier as wide as you can. Um, if the water gets in your house, you know, that can, just an inch of water can keep you out of your house for six months. So you want to do a good job at it. Right, and I think what's also important is, you know, a lot of people have homeowner's insurance, but a lot of, some people may not realize, people new to Florida, that flood insurance is also important too, and that if you're not careful and not protecting your home from that flooding using sandbags or silicone filled bags, you may be out thousands of dollars and the insurance That's company right. may not cover it. So could you talk about that? That's right. Uh, your homeowner's insurance covers wind-driven rain coming from the sky, but flood insurance you need uh, for water that comes from the ground, from the uh, outside into the home. Um, it could be rainwater, but it's got to be rainwater that hits the ground and then comes into your home. And you need flood insurance for that. It's not covered by your homeowner's policy. Yeah, what advice for new Floridians as they're prepping their home and using some of these bags? Aside from the garage, what are some other areas that they should be using sandbags or silicone filled bags for? Uh, anywhere that there is an interest into the home or even underneath the home. You really don't want water to go underneath your home. So if you have an opening to your crawl space, I would protect that for sure. Because if water gets underneath there, as it evaporates, it can come up through your floors. Um, I would also recommend that you take uh, photos of your roof now, and that way you have before and after photos for your claims adjuster if your roof is damaged, and that way you can show them, hey, this is what it looked like before the storm, this is what it looked like now, I've got missing shingles or damaged shingles. That would uh, make it very hard for them not to pay your claim. Right, right. Very important, especially for you here in San Marco, because of that extreme flooding that this neighborhood tends to get a lot of the time. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. Well, thank you so much, okay. Matt. And thank you so much. Um, we are going to toss it back to you now.